graduation. I just got back. <sighs> I'm getting my makeup done. What do you guys think? Ah, it's so windy. It's definitely giving y'all. Yes. <laughs> Bitches! <laughs> whose character does not look like the way she came in it. We had to celebrate both of them. So instead of you hearing from one MSK valedictorian, we had two valedictorians. So first we're going to meet D'Amika. Yes. <laughs> a tremendous amount of praise, literally. <laughs> but we're here. 
to my sisters, and I don't take that word lightly at all, but we made it, y'all. Throughout all the trials, the tribulations that life threw at us over these past eight weeks, we made it. We walked into the doors of that church, broken, unhealed little girls with no idea what to expect. With our guards up, our hearts shut off, look at us now. those doors. Yes. How high, stronger than ever before. Mm. Women of God. Mm. We are women king. Yeah. <laughs> our bodies, our, our bodies, our hearts, our minds form our kingdom, our the home. Mm. And you know as warriors, we have to do whatever it takes to protect our kingdom. Mm -hmm. MSK healed us nurtured us, groomed us, and prepared us for the battle. We all received or had the opportunity to receive this. Number three things. One, no matter how strong we are or what skills we have, we can't do it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Two, while we are strong and fierce, we are forever healing. So when that little girl shows up, because she will, yeah. just remember that although she appears, she no longer affects us. Ah. just as a reminder. We, she reminds us of what was so that we can appreciate our now. Embrace it. Thank God for where he has brought us to now. And three, when we walk out those doors today, we can't stop training. We must train for the battle every day to ensure our skills stay sharp and we consistently get better. To my sisters, I love y'all. I look forward to continuing to grow and heal with y'all. Thank y'all. This one, hit, this one hit a little differently, and, and, and when I say it, you'll understand why. Okay? So with that, I'm not going to say a whole lot, because y'all know how I feel about this one. Because this one is mine. <laughs> so I introduce to you valedictorian number two, Miss Shayla Prince. We made the call when we came in here. The because during this time, all of our sisters, we became warriors. Yes. Yes. We didn't stand underneath a, king, a queen, we stood underneath a king. Though she may stand and come to you in female form, she led us, got us, put us into places we would never imagine. We grew, we conquered, and we came. We showed up, but we didn't just show up, we showed up for ourselves this time. Yes. And that's what yes. During our journey, during our journey, we gained some, we lost them, but we found ourselves. So, Damika didn't start it all. Yes, my, my sister used to be scared to public speak, but she right. didn't. Yes, yes. She did. yes, she because did. we are warriors, and because we came to conquer, and because we came to rise above all the things that people say we couldn't do or wouldn't be, we stood behind our king. We allowed her to lead us. When our sisters fell short, we were right there to hold their hands. Yes. When we cry, they cry. Yes. To our woman, yes, here. Oh, yes, she is. Yes. 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 To our woman, king. Yes. We are the woman. Yes. Yes. During the class, it was a little different because this was the first time she ever walked through the class and took the journey with her child. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Okay. My mother lost the partnership. Mm -hmm. She got told she would have surgery, mm. but she still let her truth like never before. Yes, she, did. Yeah. she showed up, she cried, but with a bit of me, she prayed for us, mm. and she kept us there. Mm. She encouraged us, and for that, I crammed. Okay. Because our family showed up for us, but 
lady, because we showed up for, for ourselves. Yeah. 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 I want to say thank y'all. Um, thank you. Yeah. 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 Woo I showed up, because God showed up for me. So when he showed up for me, it was my duty to show up for each of you. I hold myself to a standard, and I hold each of you to a standard. Because guess what? Nobody wants to hear about excuses. When the kids need to eat, when they need housing, when their house got shot up. They just need you to show up and meet the need. And for eight weeks, we met each other's needs. When I was broken, it was y'all that put me back together. When I lost my partnership, it was y'all that I could cry to. But God said, I will replace everything that the canker worm stole from me. So I stand here today, and I thank each of you for crowning me the woman king. <laughs> but in my heart, I got 11 fierce women kings sitting right in front of me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, when we're not crying, we try to be very official. <laughs> <laughs> so, in all of my officialness, I would like to make sure that we give honor to three women that hold public office, but they don't just hold public office for the city. These three women have showed up for every single MSA. So the one thing that we learn in MSK is to make sure that we always give honor where truly honor is due. So we want to thank you for your support. Um, Tony made me write down all these titles, because y'all hold some titles. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can't find it in the message that she just made me write. So, but I think I have it. <laughs> Alderwoman Rhonda Pindell. Yeah. Councilwoman Lisa Rodman. And this one hit a little different too, y'all. <laughs> the officially elected. Excuse me. All I said was officially elected. <laughs> officially elected. Delegate. spend some time here because it's one thing for our elected officials to say they're going to show up. Yes. It's it's one thing to say they're going to do something and they're going to back and they're going to support. It's a whole other thing when you do it. So right. we appreciate you and we thank you. So our next person, which we would like to bring up, she's special to you. Know, I put everybody on the agenda that was special to me. <laughs> but you have to wake up every single day determined that the steps that I take today is going to get me where I want to be tomorrow, a year from now, five years from now. You have to take ownership of that. You have to take extreme ownership for your life. There is nobody who's going to save you. There's no government program that's going to save us. That government program gives us just enough to survive. We know we want more than that. We're capable of that. But we just have to take extreme ownership with the mirror up to your face every day and say, what am I doing today that's going to make my life better for tomorrow? Yeah, that's good. That's good. So with that being said, I just want to say, for one, Shayla, you look and sound a lot like your mom, okay? <laughs> the bar said hi for you, lady. I'm going to be watching you. But to Shayla, to Vanessa, Akasha, Shannon, Keisha, Diamond, Chevron, Ivory, Panther, Damika. Yeah. I, um, I have been thankfully hearing that word a lot this week, congratulations. And so it is a privilege and an honor to share that with you because every time someone sees me, they see you. They see Shayla, they see Vanessa, they see every one of you every time they see me. My mother is here today and my mother told me to be humble. I said, okay, but if she'll give me just a little bit. In this last race for delegate, if you guys understand the way that our city works, no black woman had ever held this office. Ah! The Bible talks about eyes not having seen, ears not having heard. The conversations that 
you all had when you invested in yourselves, those conversations, the things you learned have opened your eyes forever. You will never look at the world the same. You will never look at your community the same because now you know how to identify the problem, but how to also bring the solution. Yeah. MSK gives you. It gives you that empowerment to know how to bring the solutions to the table. I started my morning at a conference for the Maryland Legislative Women's Agenda. So it was a room filled of hundreds of women, most who don't look like us, and identifying what the problems are that women have and what the solutions are that women have. And this year, they required them to put an equity note on each of the pieces of legislation. So each one had to be analyzed for its impact on communities of color, which includes us. And as each of the fiscal notes and impact notes said, well, black women only make 58 cents on the dollar compared to their white counterparts. Well, black women suffer from the highest rates of maternal mortality. Well, black women suffer from the highest rates of this chronic illness and that chronic ailment. And as I flip through page after page after page that so clearly articulated our problems, I realized that what we we need more people who bring our solutions yeah. to the table. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. So it is an honor and a privilege to stand in the space where I can bring some of those solutions yeah. to the table, like this center we are in. I remember when I approached the city government and I said, how come Stanton Center don't look like Pitt Moyer Rexon? Yeah. Where's the resources for our institution? And the older person who represented this district, he no longer does. When I pointed out some of the problems, he said, nobody told me Stanton Center needed that. And I said, well, do you have two eyes? Ooh. Have you seen it and have you looked around and have you seen? Unless one of two things is true. Either you haven't been there or you think it's all we deserve. One of those two things is true. One of them is true. So you have to have people who are willing to call out the problem and then willing to walk in the state house and come back out with one and a half million dollars to say, now let's go fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what's going on now. Shannon, Keisha, Diamond, Sharon, Ivory, Panther, Damika, and Alicia, know that when they see me, they see each of you. And when they see you, they see me.
cheese. You like mac and cheese.